So every year I make sure that I write down my goals for the year for what I want to accomplish. And usually the goals when it comes to like the big goals. And when I say goals, I'm not saying like every single goal has like a different, like different thing that I'm going to do, right? Like I'm going to do this thing and then I'm going to do this thing. Like some of the goals actually correlate with each other, but there's at least like two that are different goals that are not the same as the other. And so every year I write down, or I guess you could say I recently, like uh, two years ago, well, when I started my improvement journey, self-improvement journey, was when I started to actually write down goals because I never wrote down goals when I was a teenager or anything like that. And so this year I wrote down goals. I wrote down the goals that I wanted to focus on this year. Like I said, some of the goals correlate with each other. Other goals are like, you know, physique type goals and things like that. But there's at least five goals that I wrote down that I really review every morning and every night before I go to bed and I review them so that I can stay focused and not lose track and not get distracted and realize that these are the goals that I set for myself in the beginning of the year and this is what I should be focusing on this is what my schedule my schedule should be aligned with those goals and so far they have been aligned with those goals but there's something that I recently have noticed that well I guess you would say I I don't want to say I recently because I think I've noticed this for like a bit of time like not like a short for like a bit of time like not that long ago but i've been noticing it but i've been trying to make it work at the same time right so let me just get to the point what i'm trying to say so i've been realizing after reflecting right and this is where the importance of reflecting if there's one thing that you want to take away from this whole video is the importance of reflecting something that i actually spoke about in a recent video that i made a self-improvement rule i guess you could say that you must follow in order for you to see improvement and what it is that you're doing and so I started to reflect, right? And one of the ways that I reflect, I mentioned before in that video, was by journaling or by doing my weekly review every Sunday before I go to bed. And so these are the ways that I reflect myself. And so this time, you know, I've been reflecting from journaling and I've been realizing that, you know, like I said, right, I wrote down my goals in the beginning of the year. And I write down my goals from goal number one, goal number two, goal number three, doing things like that, right? Like from priority, right? And I've been realizing now that, you know, my goal number one, right, the goal that I set for myself this year, the main priority, I guess you could say, out of all of them, well, I guess you could say not all, all of them, all of them are priorities, but the main goal, like, when it comes to, like, what I'm pursuing, what I'm trying to get good at, what I'm trying to build, that main goal, in the beginning of the year, or even last year, right, when I first started, like, you know, trying to become consistent on YouTube, right, I was still focusing on that goal even while doing this, even while recording, even while, if you guys even notice, like in the beginning when I first started to be consistent with YouTube again, back in late 2021, I was uploading like six times or even like, I think there was a point when I was uploading every single day, like just videos every single day. And the reason why it was possible during that time to do that while at the same time focusing on that main goal. And that main goal is something that I have been working on for a period of time now it's actually i think i even mentioned it in a video before that i've been working on a goal that i haven't even given up on yet and i don't plan on giving up on and i've been seeing progress which is why you know i still is motivating me to continue to go on and go on because of the progress that i'm seeing and so the reason why i was able to focus on that main goal while still you know consistently upload which is actually one of the main goals that i had when i when i when i started to be consistent with youtube again was to be consistent with it and the reason why i was able to do that was because back then, if you guys, if you guys noticed the videos, it wasn't like anything crazy. Even to the day right now, it's not anything crazy like that. But it has definitely improved. Like if you were to compare a video of mine's from right now, not not including this video, right? Because this video is just pure, just me here sitting down, just talking one on one with you guys. But if you were to compare like one of the videos that I have right now compared to a video in late 2021 or a video in the beginning of 2022, you could see the difference is massive. Like even like the way I look, like you could see that it's kind of different and to the way i speak and the edits as well is different the thumbnails is different everything is different i have improved on it and so the reason why i was able to do that the reason why i was able to focus on that main goal while at the same time focus on another goal that's like this and upload consistently was because the edits weren't that crazy so like i would basically just like record and edit in the same day like back then it was so it was a lot more easier because i didn't really edit anything like that i would just cut like the unnecessary parts that didn't need to be in the video like back then i also used to have like this bad habit of being like um and um and um i would do that a lot like you don't see me doing that anymore because i've improved but back then i would do that so much 
And so those are the things that I would cut off the video so that I it wouldn't be on the video sometimes. And that's the only thing that I did when it came to editing them, which is why it was so easy to basically just record and just cut off those things and boom, the video was done. Like I would just upload it. Whereas now I try to focus more on the quality of the videos that I'm producing. You know, like back then, my goal, and like I even said, told you guys like in the beginning when I first tried to be consistent again with YouTube, it was to be consistent. So I was focusing more on quantity over quality. And you guys could have seen that in that videos before. I was uploading consistently. And even to the day, I'm still uploading consistently, even though it's a lot more or less. I'll get into that in a moment. But I've been prioritizing consistency for a long time. And I've mastered that consistency of just uploading, whether it's five times a week or three times a week. I've mastered that consistency of every week, you're going to get a set of videos of that I said, because I've been able to be consistent with it. But now, since the quality of the videos have improved, I believe have improved. Obviously, you guys can be the judge of that, but I believe that they have improved if you were to compare my videos now to back then. Since it has improved, it has also taken me a lot more like time to like when it comes to like editing them, when it comes to the thumbnails, when it comes to the rest of the things, right? It has taken me a lot more time, which is not which is why I have been cutting down the number like you guys like I mentioned before, like in the post that I, you know, I posted in the community post that I started to I wanted to upload like three times now instead of like five that I was uploading because it was taking me a lot more time and it wasn't that I couldn't do it. It was more so that I could do it, but that would mean that I would have to spend less time on that main goal that I wanted to prioritize. And that's what I started to notice after reflecting so far throughout this year. In the beginning, I was still focusing a lot more on the main thing, not as much as last year, but I was still focusing on it. And then as time went on, I started to upload, like, obviously you guys can notice as well that the quality of the videos have improved since the beginning of 2023. Like, if you go to compare the, the videos I have now compared to the videos that I uploaded in the first month of 2023, you guys can see a, a difference. You guys can see some improvement. And so since I've been improving on this and since, you know, I've been uploading a lot more, like three times a week now. And well, now it's two. But since I've been improving the quality, it has taken me a lot more time. And I've noticed from reflecting that I've been focusing a lot less on that main goal or have been putting in as much time and effort and attention on that main goal that I used to put a lot more time and attention and effort because back then, like I said, I was not putting too much like emphasis on the edits when it comes to video. It was just very easy to record and, and cut the unnecessary parts and boom, upload. But now since it's not just that simple anymore, now since it's just not cutting the video and uploading real quick like no it's not like that no more now is i'm cutting it and i'm adding a little bit more things just so you guys can stay for the video as well and you guys can get the message overall you know so it's not that boring or anything like that it's not like simple like oh yeah just me sitting down talking nothing else like nothing really like different like if you might got you guys might get bored so that's why i try to like edit them in a way to still get my message out kind of like in a way as well of storytelling you know it's trying to still trying to you know tell my message to you guys while at the same time doing it my way when it comes to editing, right? So you guys can see the difference in edits when it comes to now compared to back then. And since it has taken me a lot more time now to do that, I've noticed that it has taken me a lot less, I have taken a lot less of my time to focus on that other main thing that I really wanted to focus on. And the thing is, is that that main thing, when I was focusing a lot more on it compared to now, which is why I'm making this video to just get to the point, but when I was focusing a lot more on it, I was seeing tremendous progress. Like I started to see progress that I want, that I have been wanting to see when I first started working on the goal. Like when I first started working on the goal, I had I had not seen any progress, but now I'm seeing the progress. Now I feel like I'm getting close to that point where I want to get to when it comes to that goal. And I feel like ever since I've been putting more time and attention to what I'm uploading, I have not been noticing myself spending less time and attention on that one thing that I've I've been seeing progress on but since I'm focusing a lot less on it now because this has taken a lot of my time and attention I'm starting to see the progress like slow down now because of it and so because of that since I don't want to risk losing the progress that I've been seeing on that one goal and I don't want to like throw it away right because like when I was thinking about this right well let me just get to the point before I even get to that the point that I'm trying to make is that since I've been focusing a lot more, since I wanted to focus more on that main goal and not lose my focus on it, I've decided that it's best to, instead of upload two of a week, which is something that I've been doing now, it's better if I just do one a week. And the reason for that 
is because I, I remember when I, when I was thinking about this, I was, you know, I, I was, before I went to bed, right? After I journaled, I was literally just talking to God. I was like, whatever, like, this is what I want to do. Like, I was literally saying everything that I wanted to do. I planned out, like, I told the whole plan to God, right? God knows the whole plan that I laid out. And I went to sleep. And this happens to me sometimes, or most of the times, whenever I speak to God for something, and I just, like, give me any any message, give me, like, a sign or something like that. And I, I had literally had a dream of the book that I read back when I first started reading books. And it was called The One Thing. And I remember in that book, it talks about how a lot of extraordinary results come from focusing on just one thing. Not many things all at once, but just one thing. And if you start to look at it, if you look at any type of successful person, if you look at a person who succeeded in business, who succeeded in real estate, who has succeeded in a certain sport, right? You look at Floyd Mayweather, he you know, became arguably one of the best boxers of all time. When he was focusing on boxing, he wasn't also focusing on different things. He was just focusing on boxing, like just boxing and that's it. And that's how he was able to get to where he was at. If you look at a successful like guy, like let's say like Grant Cardone, right? Like I'm pretty sure you guys are into real estate or entrepreneurship or business or something like that. You guys know who he is. He succeeded in real estate, but he wasn't, you know, and he has also social medias now that are big like YouTube and things like that. But when he started real estate, he wasn't trying to grow his YouTube at the same time. He succeeded in real estate. And then he went on to YouTube to get his message out. But he had already succeeded in real estate. He wasn't focusing on too many different things because he had already mastered one thing. So he could go on to another thing. And if you notice a lot of successful people, any type of successful business guy or entrepreneur or any successful sports guy, they start from one thing, they succeed in that one thing, and then they move on to other ventures. You look at Kobe Bryant, like rest in peace before he died. Like he was venturing out to different things. He was writing books. But before that, he was just focusing purely on basketball, just purely basketball. That's it. And then after he succeeded in that one thing, he was able to venture out into different things because he had already mastered that one thing. It was basically like second nature to him. And now he could focus on different things and it wouldn't affect that one thing because he already mastered it. And so the point I'm trying to make is that after I had that dream, I think that's also a sign for me to reread that book, which I'm going to. I'm going to reread that book. But you might be thinking, oh, well, you're going to give, you're going to quit this then. You're not going to do this anymore. And that's not what I want to do. You know, this is why I'm making this, right? Because I don't want to do that. I don't want to stop uploading and just not upload anything, right? Because I actually enjoy doing this. But I feel like it's taking a lot of my time to the other thing that I want to do as well. The thing that I prioritized right in the beginning of the year, the goal number one that I put, that I wrote down. And I realized that my schedule hasn't been in alignment with that goal that I have. I mean, I still work on that goal, but not as much as I would like, not as much as it is required for me to work on that goal. And so that's why I believe that it's better to just upload once a week. I know I've been doing it twice, but just once a week. I, I know I, I still have time to do that, to just record and edit once a week. I can do that for sure. And I, that, I, I will still have time to focus on that one thing, the main priority, right? The main goal that I have that I wrote down. I will still have time, which is why I decided that it's better to just upload once instead of twice because I know I could do it. But when it comes to like twice or three times a week, like I used to do, I just, I feel like if I were to be able to do that, yes, I can. But that would mean that I would have to spend less time on that one thing, on that other goal that I have. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to throw that goal away. I don't want to throw that goal in the garbage because that garbage, I mean, because that goal has a purpose behind it, right? Like I said, every goal that you have, it has to have a purpose behind it. Just like this, the goals that I have when it comes to this, they have a purpose behind it. And so that other goal has a purpose behind it as well. Something that I wrote down, something that I created for myself, like I said, quite a bit, like a time ago. And I'm still working on it because the purpose behind it is meaningful. And I also enjoy doing it. I enjoy working on that goal. I enjoy it for real. And so that's why I decided, like I said, to just it's best to just upload once instead of twice. That's basically why I'm making this. And I'm not gonna lie. When I was thinking about this decision that I wanted to make, which is upload less, because I've been uploading a lot less, but consistently. So every week you're getting something from me. It's just a lot less than before. Like I said, because before it was six times, five days a week. Now it's just once, but I'm still consistent with it. And I feel like in whatever it is that you do, you have to be consistent with it. It doesn't matter how much input you give it, but just be consistent with it. You know, even when it comes to like working out, you want to work out six days a week, but you can't because your schedule just doesn't let you. Okay, just try to do it three times a week. Even though it's a lot less than what it could be, the main priority is to be consistent with it. 
Because if you're consistent with it, you're going to end up seeing results. Consistency always, you know, beats the amount of, you know, like hard input that you give him because you could give, you could go hard on it for a period of time. But if you end up being inconsistent later on, it doesn't matter. But if you're consistent with it, with a certain amount of input that you give in and you're consistent with it over the long run, you're going to end up seeing the results you want to see. And so that's why I, and like I said, when I was thinking about this, I kind of had like this, like uncertainty come out. And this is what happens when you go the road less travel. When you have goals that are not ordinary, when you have goals that most people don't set for themselves, when you go the road less travel, you're going to experience that. You're going to experience that uncertainty that kind of gives you a bit of like fear, I guess you could say. But at the same time, I don't know, maybe this is just me. I don't know if it's other people as well who are also on the journey of being in the road less travel. But when that uncertainty also rises, I also feel excited at the same time. Like when I first decided to be consistent with YouTube again, back in late 2021, I was excited. But at the same time, I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, what if it doesn't go right or something like that, right? But I was excited at the same time. And it's the same way with right now. I still, I feel the same way right now. I feel like doing this, yeah, it might feel like uncertain because it's like, damn, like what if people don't watch or don't receive the message that I want to put out, right? Which is a good message. I want to impact people's lives in a positive way. I want to contribute to the world in a positive way and with me uploading a lot less that means that my message will get out a lot less but i feel like all of this is going to end up working out i feel like all of this is all going to connect later on like i feel like everything is going to come together later on and i always emphasize to always look at your goals from a long-term perspective from like yeah maybe you have to make maybe you have to make a decision right now that is uncomfortable that maybe you don't want to do because maybe it causes you fear or maybe it brings out uncertainty but you always have to look at it from a long-term perspective. And that's why I'm looking at, well, that's why I'm making this decision right now because I'm looking at it from a long-term perspective. And I know that this right now, although it may not be as beneficial for the channel because uploading a lot more is way better than uploading a lot less. But I also believe that quality matters as well. And I feel like the quality will improve as well with uploading a lot less. But I know that it may not, you know, help like any any channel you look at, like it's better to upload more than it is to upload less. But at the same time, it's good to have quality as well. And so that's what I want to focus on as well. Quality, not just uploading, you know, like eight times or seven times a week, right? Like upload, even if you upload, uh, even if I upload a little bit, but hopefully that one is a good upload that can get my message out and impact someone in a positive way at the same time. And so that's why I, like I said, I've decided to do this. And I feel like everything is going to connect. And I, like I said, I don't want to give up on this as well. I'm not giving up on it. This is also a reason why I was kind of hesitating about doing that, about uploading a lot less, like going from two to one a week, because I, it kind of made me feel like it's like, I didn't feel like I was giving up because I'm not giving up, but it kind of like, it makes it look as if I'm giving up, but I'm not like you guys are probably thinking like, damn, look at him. He's giving up on this and he used to upload a lot more. He's probably not doing it anymore and it's like no i'm not giving up on this not not for sure i'm not giving up on this i just think that i need to reprioritize i need to focus on what what i need to focus on what i said for myself in the beginning of the year i need to reassess i need to adjust right this is just adjusting never give up on your goals just adjust look at how you could go at it from a different angle and go do it that way and that's basically what i'm doing right now and that's why you know when i was hesitating in the beginning when i first had this idea of doing this when I was hesitating, it was because like, I kind of felt like if I was like, giving up, but I'm not giving up. I had to realize, like after journaling, I had to realize I'm not giving up. This is just an adjustment that I'm doing, a little change that I'm doing to go in the direction that I want to go in. And this is why I emphasize the importance of reflecting, whether it's like every Sunday or whether it's every night journaling or every other night journaling. Make sure you reflect and look at what you're doing right now and the results that you're getting and look at where you can improve on and where you're doing wrong and how you can improve on that, how you can fix it, how you can get yourself on the right track. Because if you don't reflect in any way, you're gonna be going, like if I were to not have reflected, I would be doing the same thing probably and I probably wouldn't get anywhere in the goals that I have. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I reflected and I realized that this is the way that I have to go in order to get to where I wanna go to. And, and you only get to that point if you reflect by either journaling or by doing a weekly review, a monthly review, looking at how much progress you made and where you can improve on and 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 looking if you are going in the right direction, looking at yourself and, and asking yourself, am I going where I want to go to? Are the actions that I'm taking in alignment with where I want to go with the goals that I want to accomplish? These are questions that you have to ask yourself. And when you answer those questions, you're going to realize 
maybe I'm not going the right way. Maybe I'm lacking. Maybe I'm, 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 I'm falling off track. And that's when you get yourself back on track so that you continue to work on those goals and not fall off. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And this all came from reflection, which is really uh, one of the main messages from this. If you want to take it away, if you want to take any message away from this, the importance of reflecting on what you can improve on and, and, and getting back on track. That's basically what I'm doing. And sometimes, you know, like obviously I'm going to be uploading a lot less. It kind of feels like I'm not going to, you're not probably not going to see me as much like on your feed, right? Because I went from uploading basically like, almost every day before to uploading five times a week. Like you would see me on your YouTube feed a lot more, which means that my message will get out there a lot more. I would impact a lot more people, right? Even though I kind of noticed that ever since I've been uploading a lot less, my, my message gets out a lot more, like based on like views. And I don't really try to focus as much on the numbers or anything like that. But like, I've noticed that the views have been a lot more better when I've been uploading a lot less compared to when I used to upload a lot more, like I would get like less views. And like I said, I don't try to really like get myself attached to the views. I just focus on getting the message out and trying to impact the more, more, more lives and try to contribute in a positive way. But that's also a thing that I've noticed. So maybe by me uploading and like, wait, maybe by me uploading less, maybe I get to my message out a lot more, maybe because the quality improves as well. But like I said, since I'm going to be uploading a lot less, I kind of feel like I'm not going to be, you know, in your screens or not getting my message out as much as I can to you guys. And it kind of wants, it kind of like gets me to want to go on Instagram again. Like it kind of makes me want to go back on IG and just, you know, connect with you guys there. Because back then when I would have IG, like um, before I like got off of it for a period of time. I would like get DMs from you guys like, oh, like I have a question. Can you help me out with this? And I would answer them. Like I would answer my DMs, like any question that you guys had, like, oh, look, I have a problem with this. Like you got any tips or man, I've been lazy. I've been undisciplined. You got any tips? Like I would answer those DMs like one on one. And I enjoy doing that because I feel like I help, I help someone. And I'm, I haven't been able to do that right now because I don't have IG. And that's why I kind of feel like going back on IG. But that's still something that I have in my mind. I still don't know if I'm going to go back on IG like right now or anytime soon. But that's something that I just have in mind. But the basic message is that that I'm going to be uploading a lot just one once a week. And it might seem like a lot less, but I feel like everything is going to come out the way. It's gonna Everything's going to come full circle. I feel like everything is going to pan out i think i think everything is going to go and and i'm going to everything's going to connect itself i feel like and everything's going to make sense in the long term that's why i kind of don't feel like anxious about this decision or like feel like some type of way about it even though i did in the beginning is because i feel like everything's going to play out i feel like everything is going to connect the dots together in the long term and that's why i feel like looking at things in the long term really helps you out a lot especially with like if you got any like anxiety or you got any like you know, you're trying to make a decision, but you have anxiety and you don't make the decision. I feel like looking at it from a long term perspective really helps out a lot. It really gives you a lot of perspective. And that's what has helped me as well. in a lot of the decisions that I made so far in my life, looking at things from a long term, that have really benefited me so much so far. But anyways, that's all I got to say. I'm out.